Question 5 says that in the given figure on the right side, the arms of the two angles are parallel. So this basically means that if you look at the two angles B and E, the arms are parallel. So BA is parallel to ED and BC is parallel to EF. Okay, and then the question says if angle ABC is equal to 70 degrees, so this angle here, this is equal to 70 degrees, find the measure of angle DGC and angle DEF. So angle DGC is this angle and angle DEF is this angle. So it's actually quite easy. This question is quite easy. We see that DGC forms a corresponding angle pair with this angle at B, which is 70 degrees. So DGC will also be equal to 70 degrees. And then we see that the angle at E, DEF forms a corresponding angle pair with DGC. So DEF will also be equal to DGC, which is equal to 70 degrees. So both of these will be equal to 70 degrees. But let's write out this reasoning properly. So in part one, we have angle DGC. And I'm going to highlight it for you once again. Angle DGC is this angle. Angle DGC will be equal to angle ABC. And the reason is that these two angles form a pair of corresponding angles for the parallels BA and ED. Okay, so the parallels are BA and ED. And this means that angle DGC will also measure e equal to angle ABC or 70 degrees. And then for part two, we have to find angle DEF. And as we saw earlier, angle DEF is this angle. And we see that angle DEF is equal to angle DGC because angle DEF will be equal to angle DGC. And this is because these two angles form a pair of corresponding angles. And this time the parallels are BC and EF. So these are the two parallels. Okay, and this means that angle DEF is also equal to 70 degrees because angle DGC is equal to 70 degrees. So both angle DGC and angle DEF, both of these measure 70 degrees. This is the answer for question number five. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.